Hi guys, let's continue learning object-oriented programming in JavaScript. In this video, we will investigate inheritance in JavaScript ECMAScript 7 specification, which has some specific differences behind the scene if compared to other object-oriented programming languages, but syntaxes looks common. Inheritance is an approach of sharing common functionality between collection of classes. It provides ability to avoid code duplication in a class that needs the same data and functions as another class already have. In the same time, it allows to override or extend functionality that should have different behavior. On this diagram, class B and class D inherit functionality from class A. It means that instances of those classes, for example object B, have the same list of properties and methods as object A, which is an instance of class A, and still object B has additional properties and methods that describe in class B. Class A is called superclass or parent class of class B and class D, which are called child classes. Class C is a child class of class B and its instance has the same functionality as instance of class B that includes also class A functionality. Child classes have the same list of properties and methods but are able to override them. Inheritance of class C, class B and class A calls multilevel and class B, class D from class A hierarchical. Let's investigate JavaScript prototype chain of objects displayed on diagram. The class keyword was introduced in ECMAScript 6 and this synthetical sugar, JavaScript still remains prototype-based inheritance. Every object in JavaScript has an internal hidden property prototype. Under the hood, class is still a function, and each function has public property prototype, which specifies the internal prototype to be assigned to all instances of objects created by the given function when used as constructor. Object A was instantiated from class A, and Object A internal property prototype is reference to the class A prototype property. That is an object itself with its own internal property prototype, that is reference to the object public prototype which internal property prototype is reference to null. Almost all objects in JavaScript has object.prototype on the top of their prototype chain. As object B is instance of class B, its internal prototype is reference to class B public prototype property, which is an object, and its internal prototype is reference to class A public prototype property, as class B extends class A. Then prototype chain goes the same way as it is in class A.prototype. Similarly, object C has class C prototype as internal prototype and the next part of the chain is the same as of object B. It looks and sounds confusion and developers who don't try to understand it always complains as it is a big weakness. But if you will learn it and will be able to widely use it you will understand that prototypal inheritance model is more powerful than classical model, as it is easy to build a classical model on top of the prototypal model. In JavaScript, keyword extends is used to inherit parent class in class declaration. Keyword super is used to execute parent constructor and access implementation of parent methods. The object get prototype of method returns the prototype value of the internal prototype property of the specified object. Object.prototype.constructor is a reference to the object constructor function that created the instance object. The instance of operator checks if the prototype property of a constructor appears anywhere in the prototype chain of an object. Here we have basic implementation of three classes display and diagram. Class A adds a property prop A inside the constructor. Simple method A is defined in the class. Class B extends class A 
and inside a constructor we are adding one more property called prop b. Anytime we are defining constructor of child class, we have to call super function before updating this. Function super applies properties of parent class on this created on child class, not prototype. Keyword super gives ability to reuse method from parent class. Even if method is overwritten in child class, super still calls method implemented in parent class. Class C extends class B, so its instance should have three properties and its method C should return cumulated value. Let's investigate what would we get in browser console. There are three objects with properties defined in classes. Let's look what our method returns. So we will try to console log these methods. For example, c dot method a and console log c dot method c Also, let's look what we have inside of the method A related to this. Let's go to browser. So, looks like in method A we have an object that was instantiated from class C and this object has all three properties prop A, prop B and prop C because it was executed on object instantiated on class C. Also, method A on object C works as expected same as method C that returns cumulated value. Let's investigate one more behavior. Let's try to override method A inside of the class B. Anyway, Method C should return the same value as it was returning before, because inside of method B we are calling method A from the parent class. Let's test one more time in browser. So correct, it didn't change. But method A on object C reference to the method A overwritten in class B. But if we will use this inside of the super, inside of this method, we will have updated value inside of the method C. Let's check it. Correct. So, let's investigate instances that we have in console log. Instance of class A has its own property prop A and also it has property underscore underscore proto underscore underscore which is equivalent to internal prototype but it is non-standard and not recommended to use anyway it is implemented by many browsers its internal property prototype has a reference to the function that instantiated current object and method a methods are attached to the prototype and are not own properties of an instance. Internal property prototype has, as it is an object, has its own internal prototype property, which refers to the object prototype. 
If we will look to the instance of class B, we will see two own properties and we will see the internal prototype has two methods defined in class B and its internal prototype is referenced to class A dot prototype. So, in instance of class C, there are three own properties and reference to the class B dot prototype and the same prototype chain. If you are trying to access some property by key on an object, JavaScript looks for its key on object own properties. If it doesn't find it, then it goes through the prototype chain, and if it finds it there, it will return value of it. If not, it returns undefined. So let's check it. So for example, I will try to console log some property that doesn't exist on object C. For example, C dot test prop. Let's go back in browser and we'll see that there is no such property. Such property is undefined. Then let's try to add it inside of the constructor of C. Okay, go back to browser and see its value. So let's comment it and we will try to add it to some prototype, for example, to class B dot prototype. And now we should see its value. Okay. But in case if we will uncomment this value inside of the constructor, we will see it, not one that is in prototype. So this behavior is called property shadowing. And the last thing that I would like to test is usage of get prototype of method that is recommended to use in your code. So let's let's check it. So for example, object dot uh, get prototype of C uh, should return the uh, class dot uh, class dot C dot prototype. So let us check class that C that prototype. Uh, for this case, I will just test it in Node.js. So not uh, okay. We can see that this is true. Okay. Uh, for example, if we will try to get prototype of the uh, prototype of C, I think it should be class dot b dot prototype. Let us check. Let's run one more time. It's true. For example, if you would like to access uh, a prototype. Uh, at this point, it will be false. It should be false because it just be prototype. But for object B, uh, the prototype of prototype should be class A that prototype. Okay, and if you're looking for object dot prototype, we can try to access one more prototype of B or just to uh, check the prototype of A. Okay, what do we have here? Um, looks like this, is it correct? Let me check. 
Yeah. So this is a recommended method to access the prototype of an object. Also, there is an ability, for example, to check if object is instance of some class. For that, we can use something like this. So, C instance of class C. This should be true. Okay, and also should be true that C is instance of class A because it is a part of the prototype chain. So guys, here we are. I think it should look for you uh, confusing a little bit, but it's good for the first step to try to understand it. And what I will recommend you just to create some collection of uh, classes, try to instantiate them, try to inherit them, and then you will uh, understand it a little bit better when you will play with it. And uh, this will give you a big benefit in development in JavaScript if you will understand uh, this prototypal inheritance. So, thanks for watching this, hope you will learn something new, hope you will understand something, please subscribe, please leave your comments, I will appreciate it, so goodbye, see you!